So in the Rakesh game, I was black as well. And he's like 2476 on chess.com, so so high. And I got a good Scandinavian out of the opening. But he played the opening theory so good. Like he developed his knight, he developed his bishop, did not go d4. And he t tried to checkmate me in 6. And I had to kind of protect it. And then I had to go b5. And then he actually like correctly played queen f3 attacking my rook. And I was like, oh no, this is going to be like one of the slaughter fest. I'm going to get absolutely squished. And I was like, oh no. Rook like rook on h7 is looking a bit stupid. It's like plus 0.5. So, so bad. But somehow I just kept playing. I was like equally matched on the clock, just like sort of random moves, not making any big mistakes. <coughs> it was a free pawn apparently, who cares. Just trying to trade pieces slow and steady. Now it's like he had like a 5 second advantage with like 2 bishops, 1 queen, 1 pawn, 1 knight looking at my king. And I'm just too scared. And knight f6, I just want to trade, 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 nothing else. And then he, he played h6, which I feel might be a miss, but apparently engine likes it. I thought I could just block it out. And then I went back with the rook. I have nothing to do except just wait and uh, just die kind of thing. Nothing else to do. C4 was a bit weird, but I don't know. Like, and then bishop g5 was a massive blunder. I got knight here and I won the bishop. He had to take here, but he somehow moved the queen. I don't know why. And I just won the bishop. <coughs> and then he tried to force it. Like he really tried to force it. But I just kept on attacking. My knight was so so tricky. I traded, traded, took the pawn, all the pawns were gone. I went defensive and then I kicked away the knight. Probably had to go knight back or something, but that was not possible. I took the knight also. He tried to open rook, open queen. I'm like, nothing is happening. Queen is safe, rook is safe. All three pieces are connected and I have injured a bishop, so I'm super duper safe, chilling's pretty hard. And we just like pray, 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 I don't care about, I just want to trade everything. And I pinned it also, I was like, I'll not let you take the pawn, I'll pin, force you to take. Take, take, but probably could have taken here, uh, and maybe that was the better way, but I was like, no, I'll keep my two bishops, what not. And then straight, trade, check, and my bishop, like, look at this king, I mean, and then he blundered this queen also, that was pretty nice for me. But here it's like 26 seconds versus 7 seconds. So if he kept his queen, he could have actually maybe flagged me. Actually, there was an actual legit chance for flag, but queen was gone, then, then I could just pre-move everything. Pre-move, 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 and I won. The bishop pair advantage actually came in through. Yeah, you know, the bishop pair advantage. If only he kept the queens, I could have lost on time.